In this video, I will show you how to add the area unit into the cell values. I will show you two solutions. One for the string field and the other one is for the numeric field. So I go to the attribute table of the layer and here I make a new field. And for type, I choose text. All right. Now for this field, I use the calculate geometry to calculate the area. I can use the coordinate system of the layer or the coordinate system of the data frame. Because I want to calculate the area, I need to use an equal area coordinate system. So I go back to the data frame because for changing the coordinate system of the data frame, I don't need to run any tool. So I change the coordinate system of the data frame and then use this coordinate system for calculate geometry. The equal area coordinate system for Australia is Albers. Now I go back to the attribute table of the layer and calculate geometry. For the property, I choose area because I want to calculate the area. And for coordinate system, I choose the coordinate system of data frame. It's Australia Albers. And for units, I choose the S square kilometer. All right, now how can I add the area unit into the cell values? Here is an option. Add unit abbreviation to text field. So I check on this option. As you can see, the area unit is added into the cell values. But the problem is these decimal places. I don't need them. There are definitely some solutions to get rid of these decimal places by using Python, but I don't want to make it complicated. I can use another easier technique. So here is my numeric field. First, I go to the properties of this field from this number format option, numeric, I chose zero because I don't want decimal places and I check on the thousand separators option. All right, now how can I add the area unit into my cell values and represent them in labels? I go to the layer properties and from labels tab, I go to the expression. I already have the state name, so I just leave it as it is and I'm gonna add the area to the second line. So with using this character, I'm telling Python, I wanna represent other information in the next line. Now I add the field containing the area information, the numeric field. By using this small arrow, you can choose to see the field names or field aliases. And here I use the string concatenation. So I write square, kilometer and put it in a double quote because it's on a string and let's see how it looks so i don't have decimal places i have thousand separators and i have the area unit but i want to represent the area unit in a smaller size in multiple fields labeling video labeling series part one i already talked about that so you can watch it but i'm going to explain here again in order to represent label parts in different sizes i need to use a string tags. So I write a string formatting and from this link which is for ArcMap I can see all a string tags that ArcMap supports. The font tag with size property is what I need. So I just copy this tag and I put it here. I need to put tags into double quotes and then plus sign and close tag and here I write the property I want the size to be smaller than this size so I can choose 10, 8 or any other sizes that you want all right let's see how it looks okay I think I forget quotation mark for size 10 yeah, now it looks fine okay let's try another tag how about if i want to represent this area unit as kilometer with two on top of m as power so i'm just gonna get rid of 
S and Q. And I'm going to add two here. Looks okay, but I want to represent two as power of M. So here I can use another tag. Superscript. So I copy this tag and I just paste it here, put it in double quote, plus sign, and don't forget to close the tag. Now it's representing two as power of km. If you watch labeling series video part three, number formatting, you know that for adding dollar sign, thousand separators and getting rid of the decimal places, we use the Python code. But there is another solution without using any Python code. We can use this numeric field and then make the expression as I just show you. So I'm just going to show you very quick how to do that. This is a numeric field. I go to the properties of the field. I choose numeric, zero, and show thousand separators on. Now I go to the expression and I put another character for next line. Now I add the numeric field containing the export payment and here I add the dollar sign. 